Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make movie style credits in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, what I mean by movie style credits are basically credits at the end of a movie that um, just roll up the screen, and, uh, and yeah, all movies have it. So, let's get into it. First, you want to go into New Title, and then Default Roll and then uh, you want to keep the same width and height that it's preset to because that's the size of your project so I'm just going to name this credits press OK and then we'll be prompted to our title screen so you just want to click and you want to start designing your credits so maybe you have um, whoops that's not a good text this one okay this text isn't that good either but um okay so I'm just gonna start going through this really quickly um, I'm just using names so that it's a little easier oops okay there we go um maybe music and name Name, name. And the point of it is that you're going to be going off the, as you can see, I'm going off the, uh, off the screen, sort of. So you want to provide more than, um, more than the height of your video. Um, name, and then maybe directors. Name, 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 name. Uh, okay. And then maybe after you're done, you want to go back in for actors. You can maybe underline it, make it maybe size 150 font, just to set it apart. So I'm going to do the same thing for music, but you guys get the idea. 150 and underlined, and then directors, same deal. Okay. And then, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, and then to um to center it you want to center it horizontally okay so here we have it and then at the and then if you scroll down at the very end after you have your last credit that you want you're going to want to um make a couple spaces so i'm just going to hit enter until all of the names that are up here are gone and I'll I'll go over why I did that in a second so then this is how the thing is gonna go this is sorta of like your timeline actors music directors so basically the reason why I put all those spaces there would is because at the end of the credits if I didn't put the spaces it would just end like this it would go from here to black but instead we want it to keep on rolling off the screen so you need to put spaces there so once you're all set you just press exit um, from the title screen and then you'll have your credits right here so drag and drop it onto the timeline and I'll just play this it usually I'm gonna play through it once it usually goes through it really oh, my Premiere Pro is acting up again uh... okay there we go oh yeah I forgot there's okay never mind it is acting up but I'll just go through it this way see and then it rolls right off the screen how we want it but um... It's probably going to be going a little fast for you guys. Yeah, for some reason my Premiere Pro is acting up. This is why I need to reload my computer, which I'm doing later today. So what you might want to do is you might want to go to the end of your clip and make it longer. Because um, as you guys will probably figure out, it goes pretty slow. Um, or it goes pretty quickly, so you want to make it slower. Just So you just extend it as far as you want. Um, so yeah, that's how to add credits in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments or you can private message me. If you liked the video or found it helpful, go ahead and like the video 
and maybe favorite or subscribe if you're feeling so kind on this day. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips. Check out my website. Just go to my channel, and on the right side, you'll see a link that says my my website. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.